like you might be punching those numbers into the computer for no reason, so how about a healthy dose of this week's American Suck Countdown? If you listen closely, I promise to let you in the hatch for some of Hurley's peanut butter. Number 10. Running out the clock at number 10, 24. Sure, I, I love to see Jack Bauer repeat sentences and shout as much as the next guy. But when you ask me to believe that one president can be shot and another arrested in one day, no. you're pushing my credibility threshold. <laughs> but the cell phones are really what put me over the edge. Do they really expect us to believe the batteries are going to last that long? Number nine. And speaking of cell phones, <laughs> that brings us to number nine on the countdown. Companies who sell music on your cell phone. Awesome. Listen, no one is going to use their cell phone like an MP3 player because unlike Jack Bowers, it takes up too much battery. <gasps> hey, cell phone companies, try to find some other way to bilk $9.95 out of your customers every month. Number eight. Destined for a good throttling at number eight. <laughs> people who say they give 110% of effort to something. Yeah. Or any percent over 100 for that matter. Hey, dumbass, you work at Best Buy and you're not in the NFL. So I'm only going to say this once. You cannot give more than 100% to anything. Right it's not my rule. It's nature. Number seven. Stopping out at number seven, Candace Hardwick, a 15-year-old South Carolina girl who protested her right to wear the Confederate flag in school. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look great on her application to Tulane. Most kids look back at high school and say, boy, I did some dumb things, but few can say they actually marched for racism. Number six. Hulking out at number six, snake oil salesman Pat Robertson. <laughs> the 76-year-old Christian TV host says his high-protein shake allows him to leg press 2,000 pounds. No way! Of total crap. Uh. But keep practicing, Pat. After you die, maybe you can leg press yourself out of hell. Number five. Talking crooked at number five, John McKay. Awesome! The tough talker got bitch slapped by an undergrad <coughs> for turning graduation speeches into campaign stuff. Let's go! And for sticking his tongue so far up Jerry Falwell's ass <coughs> that he can tickle Falwell's aortic valve. Johnny, come back to reality. Number four. Putting his head in the sand at number four, <coughs> Fox News host David Asman. <coughs> who actually proposed that Al Gore's global warming movie could destroy our economy. Not tax cuts to the super rich, not trillion dollar loans from China, not a multi-trillion dollar war in Iraq, but Al Gore's global warming movie. Bye. I don't think that needs any further comment. Number three. Going too far, number three. <laughs> Nike and Apple have announced they'll provide technology that allows Nikes to talk wirelessly to iPod Nano, <laughs> tracking running performance and suggesting exercise soundtracks. No word yet on what songs the Nana will suggest for driving to Jack in the Box for a sourdough Jack burger. But I'm going to bet it's going to be anything by Biggie, the Fat Boys, or Heavy D. Number two. Blasting off at number two, Travel Zoo announced they've awarded their 10 million subscriber a trip into space in 2008. Yay for you, Travel Zoo. But maybe poor Matthew Wagner doesn't want to wait two years to have a 90-minute vacation where he pukes on himself in zero gravity. Yeah. How about just a trip to Aruba and some scuba lessons? Number one. And finally, being totally stupid at number one, pierced glasses. <laughs> yep, just like the metal that goes through your ears, some idiot wants to do the same thing with the bridge of your nose. <laughs> Look, there's a reason people have been wearing glasses the same way for hundreds of years. It's because they don't want to have to put a knife through their nose to see straight. Well, that about does it for this week's American Suck Countdown. And remember, there's a reason why you're stranded on an island full of things that suck. But you'll probably never know why. See you next time. The Kids Suck Countdown.